Officers of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force were charged today with maintaining the core principles of the organization in order to follow its mandate of guarding their heritage and continue to protect the Bahamian people. Altavis Munnings reports tonight on the Royal Bahamas Defense Force's annual church service held earlier this afternoon. Officers of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force assembled at Evangelistic Temple on Collins Avenue Sunday afternoon to give God thanks and pray for the future. Protecting the country's borders is the primary goal of all 1,154 Defense Force officers. And National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage praised the force's stellar performance over the years despite the challenges. Since the year 2010, the Defense Force has successfully interdicted more than 4,377 migrants at sea conducted 332, 232 search and rescue missions, and arrested more than 15 foreign fishing vessels and 14 local fishing vessels for fisheries violations. Your efforts to partner with the Bahamas National Trust to ensure the sustainability of our country's marine resources and the effective enforcement of international ship and port security code to address illicit activities within our ports of entries are noteworthy. But as the government's single largest investment of capital resources for the Defense Force is what is being relied on to continue to effectively exercise the force's mandate. Now nine medium to long range patrol vessels over the next three years. This acquisition will also include an auxiliary vessel to provide timely transport of supplies to disaster stricken areas around our archipelago. The acquisition of the vessels will also improve operational response time to maritime incidents and support the decentralization strategy which includes significant improvement to bases in the North, Central and Southern Bahamas and the development of satellite bases in Abaco, Bimini and the Ragged Islands. Some 75 recruits who comprise the Defense Force's largest number of trainees in its history will begin their new jobs this May. Their intense training includes following the Defense Force's core principles, among them transparency, accountability, integrity, and fair play. Evangelistic Temple's pastor, Rev. Dr. Vaughn Cash, admonished all Defense Force officers to always follow their rules. We, the Bahamian people, expect to see fair play. And because you have adopted this as one of your core values, God, who established such a value, is also expecting to see fair play from the members of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force. Altavis Munnings for the ZNS News Network.